school districts across the country dealing with this TikTok bathroom challenge. And like other school districts, officials here in Martin County, well, they're warning students here who participate. It's just something on the back like a holder and they'll rip it off the holder and then put it in the toilet. This is a photo of where one of those soap dispensers ended up. Frank Vangela is the director of safety and security here at the Martin County School District. It's on TikTok uh, and what they're doing is they're doing damage to bathrooms such as ripping off um, soap dispensers, throwing it in toilets, stopping up toilets, then posting it on, on uh, social media. He says it's called the bathroom or devious licks challenge where students throughout the country who participate record themselves trashing bathrooms in schools for likes and follows. What's happening is everything is in the now. How many likes can we get? And they really don't understand the consequences of their actions. And he says there's more. There's two parts to the actual challenge. Uh, one is what I just mentioned and the second one is trying to take property from a teacher and then posting that on uh, social media as well. The incidents have taken place at each middle and high school here in the district. One principal sent this recorded message to parents. It is my hope that you will speak with your child this evening to ensure they understand the importance of respecting themselves, others, and our school property. Officials at TikTok say they're removing the content and redirecting hashtags. They also released a statement, which in part reads, we expect our community to stay safe and create responsibly, and we do not allow content that promotes or enables criminal activities. Depending on how much damage is caused, or if you're actually taking something, personal property, from a teacher, that's a crime. We're going to punish you to the fullest extent of the law, to what um, school discipline as well. And he also says he's asking anyone who saw something to say something. And he says there are several venues, platforms students can use to remain anonymous. Reporting live in Martin County, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.